Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So advances in technology in recent decades have obviated the need and the desire in some cases for lots of humans to keep on the move. Many of the world's population now sit for long periods throughout the day, whether that be in front of a computer at work or in front of the TV at home. Given that the human body is made to move, all this sitting is clearly bad for our health. And a new study now out of the University of California in San Diego has confirmed this and then some. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. In this latest study, the cohort consisted of 5,856 female participants who were aged between 63 and 99 years of age. They were asked to wear an activity monitor on their hip for seven days at the start of the study. The researchers then followed them for a decade, during which unfortunately 1,733 of them passed away. The researchers then used artificial intelligence to work out from the activity monitor how much time was spent sitting, and then they linked this to their risk of death. But what did this data actually tell the researchers? Well, the data showed that the participants who sat for more than 11 hours a day had a 57% higher risk of dying during the study period. That's when compared to those who sat for less than nine and a half hours a day. But you may say, well, regular exercise is obviously gonna be able to reverse this issue, right? This is not so according to the latest study. The risk of an early death was still there, even with higher amounts of moderate to vigorous exercise. And a 2019 study also found that higher amounts of exercise did not mitigate the risk of diseases such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease and stroke that can come from sitting down too much during the day. However, a study from Australia found that doing between 9,000 and 10,500 steps each day lowered the risk of premature death, even in people who did sit down quite a lot. The contradictory findings could be explained by the activity monitors that were worn on the hip of the University of California study, but on the wrist of the Australian study. This may have led to different estimates of sitting time. Also, the Australian study didn't use any special software to find out whether or not the participants were standing or sitting, meaning that standing could have been incorrectly picked up as actually sitting down. For example, if a participant stood still for half an hour, this could also be recorded as half an hour of sitting. This could mean the Australian study underestimated the time that its participants actually spent sitting down. The evidence from the University of California study appears to be more credible, advocating for less sitting time. Current guidelines from the World Health Organization also support this side. It recommends that adults should limit the amount of time sitting and break up long necessary periods of sitting also. But how much sitting is actually too much? The University of California says that 11 hours per day is too much. Other research has shown that just seven hours a day could also be classed as too much time sitting down. There are also plenty of studies that show sitting for longer than 30 minutes in one go is bad because it can increase your blood sugar levels as well as your blood pressure. So what can you do to avoid sitting for long periods? So a sit-stand desk could help if you work in an office environment, but even the basic versions of this can be very expensive. Or you could get up and move around between jobs or tasks, or even if possible, when you're on a phone call. At home, you could stand up during the TV advert breaks or while the kettle is boiling. Some smart devices and wearables do actually buzz if you've been sitting down for too long. But what if you can't stand or you can't walk? A 2020 study found that small bursts of arm exercises, for example, two minutes every 20 minutes, lower the blood sugar levels in wheelchair users. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Now, although I'm not a big fan of my Mi Band 8 for sleep tracking, it does have the option of setting a standing target. Now, my standing target for the day is nine hours. Yesterday, I hit 16, and it's usually between 13 and 16 hours per day. And my ultra human ring that I'm still learning about, but I'm actually loving at the moment, also has a movement index that keeps me on my toes quite literally. Do you sit for long periods of time during the day, whether at work or at home? And if you do, what do you do to keep active? Do you have a tracker of some sort? And does it keep you on your toes also?